Good morning. Good morning. Uh, today is Sunday, June 24, 2018. I'm speaking with Mr. Ramendu Mojumdar. Uh, this interview is being conducted in New York City. Mr. Mojumdar, where is your desk? Uh, which is Noakali now, but basically it was Lokipur. Lokipur. Now, uh, Lokipur is an in independent district, district now. now. Um, <coughs> so, so, any particular village? Or, um, no, it's uh, Lokipur proper. Proper. But, uh -huh. but uh, my real uh, route is in Dottopada. Dottopada. So, have you, can you tell us how is, how does Dottopada, how do Dottopada and Lokipur look like? When Actually, Lokipur, when we were children, Lokipur was a Thana town. Okay. But police it, station. A police station. Okay. <clears throat> then it gradually <clears throat> became a. Uh, there was a municipal court. Okay. Then uh, gradually it became a subdivisional headquarters. Okay. Later, district headquarters. Okay. But our ancestral home was in Dottapada. The village is called Maguri. Maguri. Yeah. So how is the how large was the village? Uh, or how actu small? Actually, it, it was a small village, but we uh, we have no con we had no real connection with Dattabada okay. or Maguri because I was born in Lokipur. Okay. Um, uh, Lokipur was our main state. Main state. So so <coughs> how, can you tell us uh, what kind of home? You had in Lokipur. We had a, a two-story building in okay. Lokipur. Okay. How many and people I, used to live there? Uh, the family? family was my grandfather, mm -hmm. grandmother, then my father, mother. Uh, we were uh, five sisters, brothers and sisters. Okay. Three brothers and two sisters. Okay. Yeah. And you did you go to school there? Yeah. Uh, adjacent to our house was Lokipur Model High School. Okay. I did my schooling there, the whole schooling, and. So did you? How did you used to go to the school? Just walking. Uh, jump a canal. Yeah. Was a canal? Yeah. A canal? yeah. So, Small but canal. but in in uh, in uh, winter, did you have to use a ferry or? No, 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 no. It's a very small, narrow no. canal. Narrow canal. Okay. So, was it a co-ed school or was it only for boys? No, it was a boys' school. Boys' school. So, can you tell us? So, how was the school like? Was it a mixed school? How was the teachers? Teachers, we we were lucky to have very good teachers. Okay. The both uh, Hindu and Muslim. Yeah, both Hindu and Muslim. And mostly, uh, even after partition, there were a lot of uh, Hindu teachers, mm -hmm. very dedicated, devoted, and real teachers who molded our mind. Right. So, so how, how many students you think you, you were there? Uh, about 500. Then how many Hindus and Muslims? Uh, I don't exactly remember, but there were more Muslim students. Well, yeah. And what about your home? Let's, let me ask you about your home. So how was your home like? Is it Part, it's a brick building, or you know, what it was a two story building, the main concrete, building, concrete, yeah, concrete building, concrete, yeah. Okay. And uh, we had other uh, small uh, tin shed buildings Others. around us, yeah. yeah. And what was your parents' name? My, what my, was their parents? Yeah, my grandfather who founded this building, uh, he was um, his name was Jodu Krishna Mojimdar, mm -hmm. he was a lawyer. Mm -hmm. Then uh, my father, Kuntal Krishna Mojumdar, he was also a lawyer. Okay. So after my grandfather, he started practicing okay. law. And, and, and mother? <coughs> mother, Leela Mojumdar. Uh, she was a housewife. housewife. Okay, yeah. very nice. So as you grow up uh, in your town, now I know before you're born, um, I mean in, in, in North Hali especially, 46, there was a really, really massacre. Actually, not before I was born. I was five years old oh, then. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. sorry. So, so why were your family affected by any Yes. Yeah. Actually, we used to go to our village home during Durga Puja. Mm -hmm. 
So that time also, and the uh, because it was more or less winter, uh, uh, rainy season after rainy season, we used to go by boat. So we went to uh, that time in '46 also. We went to our village home in Dattapada by boat, mm -hmm. and then uh, in uh, we decided that we should come back to Lokipur. Mm -hmm. Usually, we used to come to Lokipur after Lokhi Puja. Okay. Uh, but that time we decided that we should come early because there were some rumors that there would be troubles okay. around. So, uh, my father had a very good friend, uh, Mr. Abdul Hakim. He was member of the Legislative Assembly. He was a Muslim. Muslim, yeah. MLA. <coughs> and, and your family was a Hindu family. Yeah, Hindu family. And then he, uh, uh, my father asked him to come and accompany us back to Lokipur. Mm. Then uh, we started for Lokipur by boat mm. again. We were stopped after some time <coughs> near our village. And the rioters, they said, no, you can't go now. You go back home and see your home being burnt. So it's a Muslim, 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 Muslim rioters. Okay. Yeah. And the riot has already started then in yeah. that area, uh, the uh, Lokibu, Ramganj, etc. Then we went back home uh, and they looted all our belongings from in, the, in the, in from the, the village. Boat, in the village. And village. from your boat too? For, uh, from boat too. Oh. Then we took shelter in a camp uh, uh, where all the affected families were gathered together and we had to stay, I think I learned from my parents yeah. that we had to stay for four or five days in that camp. And that camp was in Lokipur or somewhere in No, 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 in uh, Dattopara itself. In Dattopara. Yeah. So you had reached almost Dattopara? No, we, we are in Dattopara. Oh. We couldn't uh, uh, oh, reach Lokipur. come back? We okay. couldn't come back. Because it started on Lakshmi Puja, Kojagari Day. Yeah, Kojagari right. Day. So uh, what happened is that uh, we had no other uh, clothes to change. Some uh, Muslim friends, our family friends, he gave us uh, clothes to change. And after uh, four or five days, my father uh, had uh, communicated, had been able to communicate to Abdul Hakim again, and he came with military uh, personnel or police, and they rescued us. Then we went back to uh, Lokipur. Yeah. So, but so by that time, our uh, uh, village home was looted. Looted and burned also. Uh, not burned. But looted. Looted. Was it ransacked also? Ransacked. <coughs> yeah, and what happened to other villagers, Hindu villagers? Yeah, was it a Hindu village? Mostly, yeah, that mostly Hindu village. And uh, there was uh, quite quite a lot of massacre during that time. Did you remember even as a child seeing mm, this, or do you? No, not really. I don't remember. But you know, people were killed. Yeah, people were killed because it was after the direct action day mm -hmm. in Kolkata, then Dinwakali. Incidentally, the gentleman who uh, started this riot in uh, that area, Ram Ganj area, or Lokipur, is uh, our, um, what's his name? Uh, Golam. Golam Sarwar. Golam Sarwar. Yeah. He was Gola a legislator. Uh, he, he, he was not elected, probably. He was defeated, uh, Golam Sarwar. Later, he was okay. elected. <coughs> then, Golam Sarwar's uh, very uh, aid, one of the major aides who was helpful in killing people, happened to be a relation of my wife, who is now my wife. Who is a, is a Muslim yeah, lady. Yeah. Yeah. But because of that, uh, they severed all connections with him uh, because of his action during that time. His name was Kashem Master. Kashem. Uh -huh. So, a uh, lot of uh, uh, Hindu families were affected in our uh, locality. 
they uh, they were killed their houses were burned they were the uh, many families were forcibly converted mm -hmm. to muslim and that's how a lot of women were also taken yeah, there not taken there and after uh, some time mahatma gandhi came to our locality he came to your, your lokipur right uh, lokipur okay. area and uh, stayed in jayag for some time 21 day yeah for the jatra for the jatra for, for, for. yeah so uh, we came back to lokipur lokipur was safe your house was yeah it was no yeah. no Lokipur town, town was not affected. But what happened to your parents? What were they, they thinking with your children going through this kind of... Uh, it was uh, definitely a harrowing experience. But we decided not to leave the country. Okay. Actually, we stayed back, okay. our family. Yeah. Uh, uh, my Only my elder sister, uh, who was uh, doing her school, then she was uh, sent to Kolkata and for where, safety. Where, yeah, okay, for safety. Yeah. Where, where was she going to school then at that time? In Lokipur. Lokipur yeah. itself. So your family stayed in, in spite of this, this harrowing experience? Yes. He started practicing. Was his practice affected? When no, was? no. My, uh, my uh, father was a very good lawyer. Yeah. He was one of the leading lawyers. But many lawyers were also massacred. Yeah. There, you know. Even Calcutta mm. mayor's father yeah. was massacred. So, 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 um, do you, why do you live now? Do you live in Lokipur or, or somewhere else? Actually, you know, I live now in Dhaka. Okay. Uh, Lokipur, we don't have that Lokipur house now. What happened to the house? Actually, uh, uh, we were there. My elder brother and my younger sister, my younger sister is now in uh, USA, and uh, they, both of them, migrated to India in 1964. 64, quite a few years after. Yeah, after. Almost 20 years yeah, from there. Because we, were, we have seen uh, people being killed uh, in 1964, Dhaka riot. Yeah, Dhaka, there was a yeah. Hajjad Bal killing. Yeah. Hajjad Bal. yeah. So uh, they decided to go, but I stayed back. I was uh, uh, reading in the, uh, studying in the Dhaka University yeah. then. What about our other brothers and sisters? We, uh, actually, my eldest brother uh, died in 1953 while playing football. Mm. So uh, that was another sad accident. And then yes. the other sisters. Uh, uh, my younger sister was there. Okay. Elder sister was by then married. By then. Married. Uh, what did you live? What did she live when they were in Calcutta? In Calcutta. No, where? With by herself or with some family members? No, with family members. Some extended family yeah. members. So what happened to your your property in Lokipur? Uh, it was there um, until my father decided to leave in 1970 as late as 1970. And where did he go? Uh, he came back to uh, West Bengal. Then because so you struggled to stay and went through all this? No, time. actually that was for personal reasons. I decided to marry a Muslim girl. Okay. So he thought that uh, if, he, um, uh, if he can take us, take me to West Bengal, I might uh, change, you. change uh, my but mind. You didn't. But I didn't. Yeah. So he, uh, my parents, my father and mother, they migrated to West Bengal. Because of, hardly my, because of yeah, that. Yeah. And but the, what happened to the property? Actually, the property then we couldn't sell. It was difficult to sell Why? the property because the law didn't permit them. Why? There was some restrictions then. Is it, was it because of enemy property? Enemy, not enemy property. It was not enemy property. But Hindu properties, couldn't be sold then. It was so, that, that bad? In and then that was bad, in um, as bad as that in 1970. And you so, couldn't, you as, even as a local person marrying a Muslim, couldn't, wouldn't be able to... Protect. No, actually I didn't marry then, by then, 1970. So what I happened that we decided to give the property 
quite a big property to a family physician, Dr. Awal, uh, and we told him just to give a very small amount. But, but he, that was possible to give it to somebody? Yeah, that not, was not possible. To sell. Not to sell. Oh. But uh, giving some documents. Okay. So uh, they went to uh, West Bengal, uh, first to my elder brother, who was settled in Narendrapur, and I went to Karachi. Okay. Yeah. And uh, then married, and I stayed in Karachi for one year and a half, and came back to, uh, after, during the uh, Liberation War in 1971, mm -hmm. I somehow managed to come to uh, Kolkata. Okay. You, you're married then? You're yeah, I was okay. married then. With your wife? With, with my wife. Okay. Stayed with the, with your parents? Yeah, stayed with our parents. So, so they, were, they were all fine? Yeah. With a, with a <laughs> yeah. Muslim? Yeah. Um, then they accepted us. Yeah. Very good. What about her family? Did they, how did they accept? Uh, they knew, they, they accepted us also. So, and uh, after the 72 months, during the Liberation War, uh, first six months I was in Kolkata doing some uh, helping, ha helping the Liberation War. Okay. Uh, and then went to Delhi okay. with a job. Uh, did, uh, and after the liberation of Bangladesh in December, we came back in 19, uh, we came back to Dhaka in January mm. uh, to, uh, 1972. After liberation. After liberation. liberation. So as you came back, came back, what did you see? What was your impression of Dhaka? That, what, was, uh, that was a changed city mm -hmm. by that time. Were any of your friends and relations Affected? Yeah, actually, my <coughs> wife's elder brother, Professor uh, Munir Choudhury, mm -hmm. who was uh, killed. He was a Muslim gentleman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he was yeah. a professor because uh, you know, in 14 December there was yeah. intellectual killing. Killing, yes. Uh, he was one of them. Okay. Um, so, so did when you because it's personal, but I'm still asking because you're a mixed marriage. Mm. Did anybody have to convert? Uh, incidentally, uh, for technical reasons, I had to, but without any uh, changing anything. But officially, you had officially, to I had to. Uh, but what happened if you did? Uh, it was not possible then. In, is it possible in, now? You think it is possible now. Um, so, so, but, uh, but uh, you maintained you. When people called yourself, but you say yeah. no, I'm still Hindu. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so then, as you come back to Bangladesh, uh, then tell us a little bit about your your new life. How you actually? Uh, I am a cultural activist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Famous, uh, you know, player, not player. I mean, uh, actor, actor, mm -hmm. playwriter. Yeah. Uh, and uh, producer. producer. So I started uh, two things uh, apart from my profession, which is advertising. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I was in advertising in Karachi and then also started advertising in Dhaka after mm -hmm. liberation. And simultaneously I started a group called Theatre and published a magazine, quarterly magazine on theatre. Theatre. Okay. So these are the two, and we started with a new uh, uh, spirit uh, mm -hmm. after the liberation of Bangladesh. The culture, okay. Bangladesh culture, has to be taken to a new right, Bengali culture. So there was a new. So coming journey. back, uh, very, and then since then you have been very active. Yeah. Now. Were you ever victimized? Because since even after 70, 71, there were times where minorities came under attack, 1990, 1992, 2001, and another. Were you ever victimized? Uh, not really, because uh, I mix in such a circle mm -hmm. that 
which I didn't have to experience yeah, Dhaka, that kind of Dhaka, yeah, Dhaka, Dhaka. of course, cities yeah. are very different. So. Yeah. But I have, uh, during troubles later, I visited uh, many places where Hindus were affected. Yeah. And there is a silent migration sure. being held, sure. Sure. going sure. on. Sure. Sure. Because how, how can you stop? I mean, <coughs> you, mean you can't stop because Hindus mostly, they feel very unsecured in uh, villages. Yeah, yeah. at the same time, they, people tell us, the government, if they do punish some of the perpetrators, who often they don't, then things could change. Sometimes people tell us. Yeah. Is there any truth to that? Yes, it's very true. But they can't uh, do that because uh, among the perpetrators, there were some uh, uh, people from their own parties also. Mm -hmm. So it is being done. But I always say that uh, leave the government. Why can't the political parties absolutely, here absolutely, absolutely. come forward and stop it's this? Absolutely. Yeah. No, I agree. Stop yeah. killing the neighbors. Absolutely. Yeah, but political it, parties, activists, yeah. Yeah, I mean, ignore. Yeah. Move on. Yeah. Move on. Uh, but, but, yeah, that's a... Okay. So, um, so now you live in, in Dhaka. Dhaka. Yeah. So, what do you think going back to where, when you had to cross a canal to go to public school, now your life, how how you think? It's a massive, massive change. Massive change. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So when you, since you go to West Bengal a lot, do you feel secure there? I have never uh, thought of uh, settling down in. Not West Bengal. settling. Yeah. Let me. But what I'm coming is that do you or your wife feel yeah. at ease? Yeah, definitely. Well, yeah. I mean. Uh, it's a, uh, socially also it's a safer place, definitely, yeah. uh, uh, in terms of law and order, etc. Uh, even even compared to, uh, even you're, you are saying, because you're such a well-known person, yeah, yeah. even compared to that, you feel Calcutta, West Bengal is yeah, equally safe. 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 Okay. Um, now, now, can I ask you, because that you go, you see, probably the two same Bengalis. On one side, this from Bangladesh, which is a Muslim majority, Hindu minorities have been fleeing ever since. Uh, but from West Bengal, which is a Hindu majority, very few Muslims flee to Bangladesh. Why is this? Because uh, there is a majority. Uh, good number of Muslims in West Bengal and they are socially, politically, they are well settled there and uh, business-wise, economically, etc. Which is not true in uh, Bangladesh. Because Bangladesh had proportionately more, more Hindus, I'm talking 47 yeah, onwards, yeah, yeah. and they have businesses and jobs and but lawyers. That, and yeah, That suddenly changed after the partition yeah. and gradually uh, well the Hindus they left uh, Bangladesh and settled in India yeah so, so that's how uh, they became minority and in uh, not in even not in politics or in society or in business they don't have yeah. any holding so have you ever been felt uh, persecuted or, or, or had hard time as but you're all well known but mm. if people didn't know <coughs> you're 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 as a mixed marriage as a person with Hindu name in, in Bangladesh uh, to some extent yes but I was not directly uh, uh, offended or thing but I know people uh, think twice yeah. when they hear my name etc if they don't know me, but because of my social standing or cultural activism, I am at ease. Yeah, at ease at there. Ease. Now, I do not um, generally ask this question to everybody, but since you're mixed marriage and you have a happy life, which is very nice, can <coughs> Hindus and Muslims, Muslims and Christians and Sikhs live together? Uh, not really, not with very ease there. 
because in Bangladesh now, in today's Bangladesh, fundamentalists have got an upper hand. In spite of, in what, spite we, of what we call pro-secular yeah, government. Yeah, pro-secular government. The government is in pro-secular hands, but the society is in the hands of the fundamentalists. That's the irony of things now. Is it that... that Religion plays a very important role now. And you think it plays bigger role there than, than Hinduism plays in West Bengal? Absolutely, I think so. Okay, so I'm almost to the end. So, is there anything else like to add that I didn't ask you? Uh, after the liberation of Bangladesh, we thought that the uh, problem of communalism will never come again mm -hmm. in Bangladesh. But it has, because religion was abused in politics. Okay. That's the main reason. So now everybody, every political party is playing with religion. We are all trying to say that separate religion from politics. But that will never happen, not even in Bangladesh, not even in India, because that's the Trump card probably. That's the changing scenario worldwide. So that's the, uh, we have to fight these communalism, fundamentalism again and again. Mm -hmm. And in the cultural front, we are fighting that. But uh, politically, adjustments are being done with the fundamentalists. Okay. That's the irony. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much for Thank your time. Thank you, too.